In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an accessory for your truck in Blender. We're going to make three folders first off on the desktop or wherever you like just so you know where they are. A work folder for your truck, so in my case W900 work. Another folder, call it conversion or something. And lastly a Blender folder. This is where we're going to be working from. This is where our conversion bits and pieces are going to be going to. And this is where our Blender add-ons are going to. I'll leave a link to this page and this page in the description. So on the SES modding wiki, you want to grab the game archive extractor from here. Blender tools add-on 2.2. and conversion tools 2.12. If it comes up with a risk, just click allow. And lastly, IO Convertifix wrapper. So you wanna take your Convertifix wrapper zip and drag it into the Blender folder, as well as the Blender tools add-on. Christ. If the wind knocks something off the desk, it made me jump. Especially when you're home alone, there's a slight sphincter, mate, you go. Right, uh, yeah, in your Blender folder, you should have Converter Picks Wrapper and Blender Tools add-on. Open up the Conversion Tools and the folder. And drag them in. It should be like that. Now you're going to open up Blender on version 2.93. You will need to downgrade if you're on version 3. Go to launch. One thing I will do quick is make sure I've actually uninstalled it before I get any further. Scripts, add-ons. Yep, get rid of that. Right, when you're in Blender, Edit, Preferences, go to Install, find where you've got those files. So in my case, it's Blender, and install both of these. Make sure they're ticked. So now when you search for SCS, you should have Converter Picks Wrapper and SCS Tools. Next thing you need, click on the workspace setting here, your SCS project base path, click the folder, go to your W900 work or whatever your work folder is named, go inside and select that directory. Next up, you're going to need a unit hookup folder. Assuming you've already extracted the files from a previous tutorial I did, you'll need to point it to the unit hookup folder. If you haven't seen how to extract it, there's tutorials on YouTube. I won't be covering that in this because it's not really what it's about. I have done a tutorial on it uh, as well, but they're easily found on YouTube. So go to your extract folder unit hookup now we're going to import the truck so you got a file import don't worry about two of them i've done it from scratch and accidentally got two shouldn't cause a problem but you don't want it when you export so your sds uh, add archive to list is what we want next ats extract and click on the base SCS file and click add archive and then you're going to go back to your desktop and you want to drag a truck onto your desktop from your game files of the truck you want to work on so in my case I've already got the Kenworth W900 here click on import in the list click vehicle truck Kenworth and truck.png And let it import. Yep, 
it should import without any errors. Click the N key, click on SDS Tools, click on the white cube, hold left shift and click on Model Locator. Now model locators are your flares and accessories, wheels, etc. Now we're just going to make a simple cube. So if we click on the headlight, for example, go into the object properties, you'll see in relations it's parented to the truck, not the main truck body itself. So we can duplicate this. So shift and D, enter. Expand the truck drop down and find that headlight we just made, which is here. And rename it whatever you want. For the sake of this, it's gonna be cube. Click on move, and we're gonna drag it out and to the front a bit. Sort of in the middle-ish. Good enough for now, I'm not gonna to get too fussy with it. Now on the printer icon, the output properties, you want to set your export path. So click on the folder, you should see vehicle and material. This is our work folder. Click on vehicle, truck, Kenworth, you should see truck.pim, click select. Conversion tools path needs to be set. Click on the folder and wherever you put your conversion tool files, you will need to find. So in my case, conversion. Go into the root folder, don't go into a subdirectory. Click on accept and that should be done. Now for the mod package settings, you want to take it to American Truck Simulator forward slash mod. Whatever your mod directory is for the game. And rename it whatever you want related to the project. So cube test. Now we need to export the truck first. So click on here at the top, click on the eye and select it. You should see X, Y and Z. This is your game object. As you can see with this selected, everything under is included, including our new locator. Click on export. And that will put it into our work folder. Shouldn't get any errors at this point. Oops. Now in the Packing section, just click pack. So that's a truck with the new locator now packed as a mod. Now back on the desktop, go to your work folder. And for reference, I'm going to open up a truck mod I've been working on. So we're going to do the NG. Just to show you how the folders should look. So vehicle truck upgrade and in your work folder vehicle truck upgrade make a folder and call it cube or whatever you like related to your mod in the cube folder new folder textures now we're going to put a texture in this folder open up paint.net or whatever you have control and r resize and resize it by the power of two so 1024, 512, whatever. For a simple texture, 512 is plenty. And then color it however you like. Save. Name it. Save it as a TGA, very important. Should be in your upgrade cube texture folder. Save and OK. As you can see, there's our texture back into your main work folder. Make a def folder now for definition. So new folder, def, new folder, vehicle, new folder, oops, truck. And this is going to be the name of the truck. So in my case, Kenworth.w900. Make another folder, call it accessory. And another folder with the accessory name. 
we're going to copy a shape. I will edit this and leave it in the video description so you can adjust it to how you need for your project. So you want to open up the shape or adjust it. Shape one is fine because we've only got one shape here. Where it says Mercedes.1632, we need to change that. Kenworth.w900. The ADR plate here is the accessory name. We need to change that to cube or whatever you've called it. So shape one here is shape one. Kenworth W900 is from here. And the cube part is from here. You can sort of see how that lines up. And the name of it is whatever you want. This will be displayed in the upgrade option. So cube test, price, unlock whatever you want. Don't include conflict with. Exterior model is important. That is going to show the model on our truck. Got like four text in five minutes. Um, curry sauce, no. One thing I forgot to get was actually curry sauce. So anyway, in exterior model, you want to go to vehicle truck upgrade and name it whatever is in your vehicle truck upgrade path. You don't have to have a truck name here. I don't always do it because it's shorter, easy to remember, and it just works. And then name here is what you've got in Blender eventually. So ours will be cube. So vehicle truck upgrade cube folder, cube.pmd. Save that. So we know this is exported now. File, new, general. And just going to make a cube, so shift and A, mesh, cube, that's six text now. Christ. Scale it down a little bit, control A and scale. Give it a simple texture. Name the material, whatever. At the bottom here, you want to adapt to color management. Shader preset, uh, diff spec is enough for diffuse and specular and click add vertex colors to active. Mapping, click UV map. And in the texture folder, find that texture we made before. So vehicle, truck, upgrade, cube, textures, and our cube.tga file. And there you go. Might not be that important for a flat texture, but you do want to use edge split. So with the uh, vehicle selected, the object selected, click on modifier, add modifier and go to edge split and apply it. Now you'll see this button here. You want to reload, or it will say create texture object, but I've already done it. So click create in the same folder. You should have this TOBJ file. You want to select that now. All that does is reference the material on this object. Next up, uh, control E, shift A, SCS object and make it a root object. And double click up here from game object to whatever. So cube. Come down to export again. Vehicle, truck, upgrade, cube, select. That should be filled out and click export. You might get an error with vertex colors. If you haven't got them, you need to make it look with a coal and a coal underscore alpha, exactly as written. So that's exported into our work folder. We just need to pack it now. You will need to change it over to American Truck Simulator again if it's on Euro Truck. And this is gonna be cube test. Make sure the zip is uncompressed again. Clean and convert a ticked. With the game object selected in orange, click pack. And that shouldn't take too long at all. Packing done, mod packed, etc. Now we're going to load up your game and enable the mod. I would have done this tutorial sooner, but stepped up, ended up in hospital again for another chest infection. 
and found out he's got to spend three bloody months in a care assisted facility, which is mad. I thought he was coming home today, but obviously not, which is a bit of a bugger. So in your mod folder, uh, did I name it cube test with a space? Just cube test, okay. So just cube test, I've got too many mods in here. So with that mod enabled, continue. It's a bit bright because I've got reshade on. So now the test, vehicle browser, truck browser, truck list, which every truck you've modified, in our case is a W900. Click on accessories, and you should see that new node called cube, whatever you've called it, and boom, there is our cube. So that could be a bumper, it could be an exhaust, an air filter, steps, fuel tank, a rear bumper around the back, trailer cables, whatever you want. It's that easy. And obviously you texture it however you want, scale it, move it, etc. You can take it off because it isn't set as a default piece, which we don't want it to be. So that is how you make an accessory for your truck. Simple as that. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, it was a little bit longer than I intended, but it's important to show you every single step of the way from nothing in Blender all the way up to whatever you want to build on your truck mod or a base truck or to alter a truck mod by yourself. And that is how it's done. Hope that's been helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. I know I have gone a little bit too fast on some areas. That is because I'm fairly used to the process now and I can do it without needing guidance. So you have fun with that process and see what you can make and I'll see you later.